Welcome to the Basic Bee Podcast, a show for the wannabe SEO savvy service providers among us, for the coaches and consultants who dream of becoming known for their storytelling skills, not to mention the solopreneurs who straight up need to master all things social proof to increase sales. After a little reluctantly fully committing to this online world of business, I quickly realized I needed to get people to come to me. I needed to tell them I was here and how I could support them. I dove headfirst into social proof, which led me to SEO, which led me to storytelling. And now it gives me great joy to share what I've learned with other business owners so they skip the hard stuff and ease straight into sales. This podcast gives you expert insights, actionable takeaways, and casual convos with some of the online world's best and brightest experts and strategists. I think that's enough of an intro, so here we go. Hello and welcome back to The Basics with B. This week you heard from Sarah Gillis. We talked about all things copywriting in that episode, everything from optimization to the business side of things and blogging. And of course, one of the best things you can do to combine SEO content and copywriting that actually helps you get found online is blogging. Today I'm going to share more about the How to Blog with SEO email course. Everything from what it is to what to expect during the course to what's possible after. Let's begin with what it is. This is an email course that walks you through creating blogs with SEO. We go from research, and that's keyword research, to coming up with ideas for the blogs, to outlining, writing, and promoting the blog. And in this course, the intention is that you can walk away with one of two things. You can either take what we're learning and go back and optimize an existing blog, or you can create a blog from scratch walking through these steps over the course of these 10 days. It's pretty magical. I absolutely love it. I've taken myself through this and creating the course has even reinvigorated me to create blogs once again. I used to do it. I actually started out in 2011 with blogging. I was teaching myself photography and I made it a goal just to post something every single day and share a little bit of a story. And it worked and my photography improved and I had a blast and then I outgrew that blog and I really didn't touch it again until the last few years. And even when I was sharing about blogging and the magic of it, I wasn't putting it to the best use myself for my own business. So by creating this course, like I said, I breathed new life into my blog and now my blog is bringing in a great amount of traffic and I'm becoming known for something and it's just really cool. So if you want to make less content and have it do more for you, I just want you to keep on listening <laughs> because here's some of like what's possible and some of the transformations that people have gone through. This course has been out for at least a year and a half and every single week I hear from someone, whether they are a newer student, they're signing up for the course or they've been through it and they're just now getting back into the material or something because life happens, right? They are having such incredible wins. So let me share some of those with you. I'm just going to rattle them off. Students like me have gotten back to loving blogging. They have an easy to follow workflow. They understand SEO and they can actually implement it easily. They're able to get more traffic to their site, but not just any traffic. They're getting more of the right kind of traffic to their site. They're showing off their work. They're talking about their framework. They're highlighting their students. They're creating content that lasts and that works for them versus what happens on social media. They're increasing conversions. And again, that can look like podcast listeners, email subscribers, and yes, of course, paying clients. And ultimately, they're building their authority. And the coolest thing is that you see these business owners come through here and they have so much more confidence now. It's not just that they're confident in blogging, it's that they are confident in what it is that they do and who they help and how they help. Because one of the added benefits of this course and really SEO in general is that you get so clear on what it is that you do, how you help, all of that good stuff. There's just this next level of clarity that's there. So I kind of hinted at this before, but I created this email course <laughs> actually because I took an email course and I absolutely loved it. And it's really funny. I, I'm giggling because now I have students telling me that they love this experience and they are almost in a way asking my permission to create an email course too. And it just makes me smile because I'm like, yeah, of course, I don't own this idea. 
I was inspired by someone else. Please go and make your own email course. So what I loved about taking that other email course and then what I've seen by running my email course is that these tasks, they're bite-sized. It's something that you could very easily work into your day. And I've had people who are a bit hesitant to join because they're like, oh no, am I going to be able to actually do the stuff that you're saying? Am I going to be able to keep up with the course? And yeah, you are. You're very easily able to keep up with the course. And I'll get to a little bit more of that as to why in a minute, but the tasks are doable. Every single email that comes through in the subject line, I have the approximate time that it's going to take you to complete that task. And the longest one, I think, is about 30 minutes. And there's only a day or two where it's 30 minutes. And it's what you would expect where it's writing or outlining something, more of those tasks. But most of the days, it's like 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes to do a task. And of course, you could work through that faster than someone else. Maybe I would go slower through a certain part that you're just going to blast through. So I digress. I just loved the bite-sized nature of these tasks. And I love being able to really go deep on one piece of subject matter to master it and to really hone that skill. So that's what you have to look forward to inside the email course. And it's not just me saying this. People have actually told me this. (laughs) Maybe I'll see if I can work in some of these screenshots into the actual blog that I'll write about this podcast episode. But it's kind of hard to just be like, trust me, so many people have said amazing things, but they really truly have. So when it comes to who this course is for, I designed it for business owners who want to better understand SEO and are ready to get into or back to blogging, but to do it in a more strategic way. These business owners are often over it. They are over being on Instagram. They are over being on social media. They are looking for something that's more sustainable because we are creating these really intense content pieces. We are being so thoughtful. We are taking so much time and energy and sometimes money and putting it into creating these pieces of content that last as long as the stomach flu. And that really sucks. I don't know if you feel the same way. I'm imagining that if you're this far into the podcast episode, you probably do. (laughs) But it really hurts to only see it maybe sometimes perform well. You are looking for something that's going to consistently bring you warm leads, that's going to build your visibility and shine a light on your expertise. You might even have a podcast. I've had a lot of people come through with podcasts or YouTube channels, or maybe you're even just thinking of having one of those. And another cool thing to note is that business owners and copywriters have taken this course. They are improving their blog writing for themselves and for their clients, and they're getting a really good solid grasp on SEO. So some other students that have come through here, I've had ad specialists, former bloggers who, like I said, want to get back into it influencers, digital marketers, therapists, healers, SaaS professionals. There's just like a laundry list. And I would be here all day long if I went through, (laughs) if I went through all of it. So I won't do that. But there are a wide variety of people who've been through here. And I want to say this is the fifth or sixth time I've run this email course. And it just is so fun to run it. And it's really cool also to see everyone's transformations and their aha moments and what stands out to them. So what you can expect from the course is that, again, it's a 10-day email course, and I will have you know that there are two built-in like catch-up or chill days. So that space is there if you feel like life has been lifing on you and you need some time to catch up, or if you are sticking with each of the tasks, you get to just like chill and not do anything. Um, You're going to walk through in this course. It is the exact process that my clients and I use to craft high-quality, high-converting blogs. You get all kinds of things like checklists and templates, a crash course in SEO. And at the end of it, there's a live call with me. And it's part Q&A, part hot seat with every single round. It's slightly different. Um, Sometimes, you know, no one wants to volunteer for a hot seat. Sometimes there are people duking it out for hot seats. So no matter what, though, there's always great questions that we get to have a conversation about. And it's also really fun, too, because I don't know everything and sometimes People in the course will have a different viewpoint or a different experience with something or a different tool that they like. So it's really, really cool. I'm going to link the blog email course roadmap so you can get a visual on what it's actually like to go through here, to go through the course, and so you can see like the different steps. So I will make sure to do that. Check the show notes. And then as far as what to do next, 
another link that's going to be in the show notes is the link to save your spot for the email course. We begin on July 5th. So that's the very first day of the 10 day email course. And as always, if you have any questions, you can always find me on Instagram. You can also send a message to me using there's a text link. It's at the top of the show notes. So send me your questions, go sign up, save your spot. I cannot wait to see where blogging is going to take you. That was really something, wasn't it? Let that really sink in and guide you toward being the answer to even more Google questions. Thanks so much for joining me this episode. You are the reason this show exists and that it keeps growing. You know, thanks to all those follows and reviews. <clears throat> if you know someone who could benefit from what was shared, send it to them. We don't do shy around here. If you thought of clarifying or follow-up questions while listening, you know what to do. Say hi on Instagram. Check the show notes for all the things that were mentioned, and I'll talk to you soon, friend. Hey, it's B, and I have a major announcement. Blogging is not dead, but it might as well be if you don't have a strategy, because when there's no SEO strategy, your blogs don't help you get found online, don't pull in warm leads, and just kind of waste your time. Who wants that? especially when you're already busy with a family to take care of and a business to run. That's exactly why I created this 10-day email course to show you how to write a blog with SEO. You get one email each day with a task that'll take you 10 to 30 minutes. There's even a live call included where you get to ask me all your questions. This is perfect for you if you've taken a blogging break and are ready to get back in it, or you've never blogged a day in your life, but everyone is telling you to, and you can totally send your team member through the course. The link is in the show notes. Can't wait to see you inside.